Hello everyone, so I've implemented the standard Linux text editor called EZ, or as many people including myself call it ADD, in Go programming language. So uh, just a few words in regards to the actual implementation. So there is a book called Software Tools in Pascal by Brian Kernighan, and uh, I found the source code uh, from that book. So just want to show you this very quickly first, if I just say CD to Software Tools in C, so that's the server. Uh, repo uh, containing uh, the translator from Pascal to C but within the original folder and the edit so here we have a bunch of files so we just have a look at some files here then yeah so that's the source code every single function is uh, a separate file that's the style of the uh, implementation from the book so I did translate this by hand into Go programming language. There are some limitations. I will talk about those limitations a little bit later. So for now, let me just show um, what I got. So just cd to add a source. So here are my uh, source files in Go. So uh, I would actually be using this particular version to uh, show how how it works basically so I just say edit and just to make life a little bit brighter I would use pigmentize uh, just to provide the syntax highlight and on the fly uh, it's not the feature of the text editor that's the feature of uh, this uh, pipeline like uh, piping the output of the editor to the pigmentize module which is the Python module for syntax highlights and Alexa is equal to go and yeah that should be fairly enough so um nothing there so far so um let's open so i say e and for instance edit uh, dot go it prints how many bytes it has read and comma and n to uh, read all the lines and to bring them to the standard output with line numbers so that's quite important so I can just go to say line number one, package main, then if I press enter, it gives this scrolling just like the original EZ does. Uh, I can say like from one to five uh, and say print, or from one to five, let's say N to print uh, lines with, with line numbers. Uh, we can also uh, use the current line, we can use the last line, excuse me, uh, the last line like this. We can use, we can, we can also do some expressions, but uh, to show expressions a bit better, uh, I will go to the next uh, file uh, where the do command is, is, is actually available. So uh, look at the line number 14, we have a get list. So get list is literally uh, a parse for this expression specifying the first and the second line. And then uh, it just picks whatever command goes after and executes the command. So let's have a look at, so just want to say e and do cmd dot go. And we're going there. And let's list all of, all of this stuff here. So let's start by, uh, I just want to show you the search patterns, which do involve the regular expression. So for instance, if I want to start from the black blend character and they from A to Z uh, that occurs more than one time and then I escape the uh, parentheses. So literally I want to match every single function name. So uh, if I do like this, it would just find the first occurrence. If I do like this, it would find the second, the third and so on. But let's just... Uh, I just do like this for now. So this is the first occurrence, this is the second one, so whatever function call is available just matches that. I can skip through a few occurrences like this and uh, let's say if I want to find the specific command, for instance the print command, so I can say pcmd and uh, semicolon. Semicolon sets the uh, current line to the line the, the first matched line uh, for the pattern that I've provided. So, so here I can say uh, from the current line plus 20 lines and then uh, print the line numbers. Okay, 
uh, is there no such a thing as PCMD? Uh, just wondering. No, it is actually there. Yes, PCMD is there. PCMD. Yeah, uh, now it goes just fine. So it's like uh, 20 lines start, starting from where the P uh, print command is, is being matched. So print command and the print with line numbers are uh, being handled the line number 19 there. So uh, I can also say uh, like from the current line number and uh, current line number plus another 20, a new line. So this allows me to scroll further on right uh it doesn't have the z uh command just like the gnu go and busy box go uh, the, like the gnu uh add uh, and the busy box add have but yeah for that that's just a shell couple scrolling just don't quite need that so um i didn't really use that one so here is uh yeah like we can just scroll further on if we need uh equal sign works uh you can also print uh whatever uh is available there um so yeah um the navigation through the file can be done exactly like in the original ed hopefully that makes sense okay so i just want to i just want to Let's create the new file. Uh, let's try to open the new file. It doesn't exist yet, but uh, let's see. So there is nothing. Okay. File name. We set the file name to the new file. Now let's say append and I can say line one, line two, line three, and then just put some gibberish. And let's print all the stuff we have here. And for instance, I want to write this. And since the file name is already there, we just, we've, we've just written this. And now again, I just can say E and what was the line name? Already forgot. <laughs> uh, I forgot what was the line name. So let's have a look. Um, this is TXT. Yeah, here is our new file TXT, see new file. TXT is here. Okay, so let's open it with edit and say new new file dot txt. Okay, yeah, probably <laughs> yeah, I forgot to implement the <laughs> uh, command line argument. Yeah, that's something I definitely should do before publishing this video, but yeah, that, that's quite simple to do. Yeah, so I'm sorry, just uh, open this. Uh, manually like this new file txt right and yeah here we go here we go so i just let's let me show you the um yeah let's let's have a look at the uh, pattern match uh matching the patterns again so line we have a line one line two line three okay if i say like line and i want to match the third occurrence it matches the line three exactly the behavior of the original uh ed editor right so now let's have a look at moving lines so let's say lines from seven to nine i want to move to the very beginning to line zero okay so you see like i just moved the lines now let's say i want to uh, duplicate the lines starting from line four into line six four five six t transfer and put them up to line number seven okay let's have a look so yeah we got this functionality as well uh copy pasting is also working uh as well as deletion so let's say i want to say from four to five i just want to delete lines so no more there uh yeah i should say from four to six yeah so let's also delete line number four Okay, now let's say from five to seven, I want to yank. Okay, and now for instance, zero and X to put, to paste or put. Okay, we got them. And now let's say do the same up to line number five. So five X and we go then put there as well. 
Okay, so this is how the copy pasting is actually working. And finally, last but not least is uh, substitution. So let's say go to uh, I want to change line six. So six change, and I say like line three, line three again, and some gibberish and line, and just to show how the uh, global substitution is actually working there. So now, for instance, uh, I want to say that like line two to line three, I want to substitute the line with, let's say, hello, okay? And just like in the original implementation, you can use whatever delimiter, not, not obviously the uh, slash there, okay? So I'll now demonstrate that as well. So you see like we changed the line to hello, now let's say I want to use like six substitute just using another delimiter like uh, this one for instance to so change the line with uh, something okay and it works globally all of the time because ultimately it's really hard to imagine the scenario when you do not want to have the global substitution but to replace the very first occurrence so since i don't quite need that uh, functionality i decided not to be bothered with implementing that so we have this line being replaced with something and by default uh substitute would replace uh the given pattern uh with the entire file so say line and that's substitute with high and let's have a look so we have all the highs instead of the line yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Well, that's pretty much all in regards to this implementation. So yeah, apart from global commands, uh, apart from uh, Z command for scrolling like in Gene you go, apart from uh, this exclamation mark command to execute uh, operating system commands, like this is not implemented here in this version. Uh, everything else seems to be working nicely. Yeah, uh, another, uh, I forgot to demonstrate how the read works. Yeah, by the way, uh, write, you don't obviously need to write the entire file. You can say, say just write uh, num uh, lines two and three. Uh, write, uh, let's say, 23.txt. Okay, and now let's edit 23.txt. And this is the entire file, just two lines there. And also we can uh, read uh, so the current uh, the current line number is two. Let's just append some crap there. Uh, yeah, by the way, you can also not only append, you can also insert. So something else to demonstrate. So say I want to insert to line three. So three i and insert a line here. Okay. So and let's let's say uh, after line number three, I want to read. The content of the new file.txt. Okay, and if we have a look that it turns out that just right after line number three, we've uh, put the content from another file. And just to show that this can be like a bigger file, so let's say five, um, I want to read the entire edit.go. And uh, you see, like now the content of edit.go, so from 1 to 20, say. So see, like, goes uh, lines from the old file, then uh, the content of the file edit.go has been read just right into the file. So I guess, uh, I guess this is it from my side. Yeah, I just really need to quickly implement this, um, uh, passing the command, line uh, the command line argument to read from, uh, to read the file if it's given uh, on when user is activating the ed uh, and apart from that i think that's basically it so yeah let me know in the commentaries what do you think about this project and yeah last but not least i just forgot to say that uh just the reasons why why am i doing this why i did this so there are a couple there are a couple of reasons so the first is i have a visual editor uh let me just get away from here called ego and let's say i just want to see the do cmd 
So Ego is a visual text editor, uh, but in order to perform like search, find and replace, uh, copy paste and all this stuff, it does rely on the GNU set, not the ED, but GNU S ED, stream editor. So uh, I can just type some command and get the job done. But that works while the standard input data output like pipeline and stuff. So I sort of run this GNU set as a sub process. And although that sort of works, but it's not really uh, as cool as if I can have the Octo ED implementation as a backend for my editor. So that's one of the major reasons to do it. And apart from this, um, apart from this, uh, I just want to quit. Um, apart from this, uh, what also uh, what I've been thinking about. So uh, there are a couple of uh, BusyBox in Go implementations available out there on GitHub, but uh, none of those does seem to have a decent um, implementation of the ED editor. So I think that although the current state of this version I have here may not be as good, but anyway, it seems to be better compared to what is actually uh, being uh, embedded into the BusyBox version, uh, Go implementation of BusyBox. Well, uh, maybe I'm thinking uh, too good about this tiny little project I made, but yeah, anyway, um, it's really easy to improve. You can add something, uh, you can make it more look like uh, GNU Go, you can implement global commands if you like, but I don't quite really see any reasons for doing this. But even if you will not do that, just using it as the regular uh, ED, it's it's good enough. It's really like literally essentially whatever you can do in the ED, like almost everything you can do in this editor as well, apart from maybe some tiny little um, inaccuracies. Like yeah, you cannot join the lines. But again, so uh, just just yeah, hopefully now <laughs> this time hopefully the really the last thing to say that I am going to be. Uh, developing this further on, but not as the separate project, but within my uh, uh, visual editor project. So there I would be adding more features, but this one I just leave it as is, uh, just at the stage where like I could like, I made, I made it and yeah, I just don't really want to touch it. So you guys you just feel free to start tinkering with it, give it a try and maybe you can uh, find it useful for your own project. Yeah. So yeah, this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. See you later and cheers.